As you guys may know, we've been living in a van for quite some time now. As we're on our travels and as we talk to different people, we meet other van lifers. We met our homie Eric. Hello, other people. Eric has been traveling around in his van for quite some time now. He's still in the process of finishing his build, but he's fairly close. And something that I really, I, I just want to show you guys his build because he has maximized his space so well. And he even has a bed that lifts up in the air. We're going to show you guys all of it. Come inside. Come check out Eric's van. It's super sweet. Let's start off in this like in this front area over here, if you don't mind. Sure. So, both seats swivel. Typically, we only swivel the passenger seat unless we're in a spot for a good period of time, coming in and out and using it as a lounge. When we do a, when I do a festival, put the curtains up around the windows and swivel that seat. The lagoon table swivels around, and that's still in its prototype stage too. Yeah. Um, I got a you know nicer hidden hinges that'll go in there and but that, this thing tucks away so perfectly there and then when we go into drive mode it comes around right back and, and sits right there above Ooh. the extra seat. And then under there we've got the uh the little porta potty porta area. Porta potty bucket. We don't need to show them that. They don't gotta yeah, see that. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone knows what those look like. Simple foot pump water system just out of a couple jerry cans. One gray, one fresh. This will end up with two banks of drawers here and here and a set of doors. Mm -hmm. Party room in the back here. Ooh, look at the lights. Show them the party lights, man. This guy has the festival van happening. He could fit like 14 people in here from what he's told me before. Yeah. This whole area well, just fills whole up whole with people. Area. And then all through this area, you could still fit more. The countertop there is only 15 inches deep. Maximize that more space. space to, for floor space. Lagoon table can mount there as well. So this whole area back here becomes another lounge if we want to do that. Nice. This is one of my favorite features because, you know, we like to rip it out there yep. on the hill. So this is one of my favorite features. Four boards, split board, powder board, park board, and the, the long all mountain, big oh, mountain yeah. board, all with bindings on. You'll see in a minute the bed can still come down. And then in the back corner over here, another stack of boards mm. down underneath here. There's, I've got a folding ladder that folds down. It's a step ladder. And the bed system. This is one of the sweetest parts of your build that I absolutely love is the bed you. system. So there's L-Track going up the walls and there's four pins. And the shelving is wider down at the bottom and then gets narrower at the top. So it follows the curvature of the passenger side wall. So I'll show you guys right here. You can see the curvature of the wall and he's made a very similar set right here. Follow that same curvature all the way down. When he brings the bed down, it actually follows the wall completely down. A couple things that that does. One, the bed can be at any level on that track. So most of the time, I like to just fall into bed. You don't want to climb up and have to deal with you know, jumping in and out of bed. Exactly. But if I've got a load of rafting gear or festival gear, whatever we're doing, sound system to take to a show, I can put the bed up high, have a full load, four feet tall off the ground, and still be able to crawl up onto the bed and sleep at when awesome. we get to the festival or when we get to put in for the rafting. Also, all of the seating on this side, just milk crates, are strapped in. Another thing that I do with this van, I deliver pool tables. So I can take all these milk crates, move them out of the van or move them up front, put pool tables back here, and deliver them to houses. And then when it's time to sleep, Take the drill. Handy dandy drill. Hook it in right there. Do a quick check and make sure everything's pushed in. Yeah, you don't want to pull some of those clothes down or anything. Or right. Break a or drawer have, or, or something. Or yeah. get caught. That's how sweet that system is. Look how big the bed area is full size or double size bed. Yeah. I didn't go with the queen size because I wouldn't have yeah, any shelving sure. over there. And the other thing that the pin system does, being able to raise it up and down, you can move each one of those pins individually 
So no matter how level you are parked, the handy dandy laser level, yeah. and it'll show you where you need to move those pins in relationship to each other to make the bed perfectly level. We've camped in the city streets in San Francisco where we're on a you know, 20, 25 degree angle and slept perfectly flat. And everyone's like, you're going to sleep in that van? That's crazy. You're going to like all end up right at the back of the van. Nope. Dual zone lighting. There's another switch in the back to turn the back Sweet. zone off when we're in bed. And then what do you got here? This is your, your battery bank? That's right? a Victron standard battery monitor. has its own Bluetooth. Pull, up your... pull that up and see what my voltage is and currents and everything are, state of charge. 200 amp hours of lithium ion battery. The Battleborns mm -hmm. been very happy with those. The electrical is along the back wall here. See the two see your on -off switches. Switch right there. The one in the back corner over here is the on off for the whole system. This one is the on off for the battery to battery charger. That's got a line that runs back to the van battery versus the house batteries. And it's also, it's a three-way switch, so it can be off, it can be charging through the Sterling battery-to-battery -battery charger. If I flip it the other way, then it sends positive power from the house batteries back to the van battery. Mm, nice. So if my van battery ever dies, nice. to jump start it, I just got to flip that switch over, and now I'm jump starting from my house battery. Beautiful thing. What size for refrigerator uh, do you this have? This is the, the truck fridge, I think it's a 3.2, uh, the truck fridge 130. Which I've been very happy with. I didn't put it under the countertop. I like being able to just open the fridge and everything's right here. Where do you cook? Uh, right here. I've got two of these guys. That one lives right there. Uh, there's another one that lives down in the closet, in the closet right closet now. Well. I have two burners when Sweet. I need them. I rarely use two. Everything's insulated behind, mm -hmm. but I didn't build out my wall, so I'm not quite as energy efficient as I could be mm -hmm. if I you know, built this out another mm. two inches and filled it with insulation, but I'm using the most space possible in the yeah. van. Um, this pulley system is legit one of the coolest things I've ever seen, though. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> the sickest part is like, look at all that room back there. Like, you could legit have a dance party back yeah. there. <laughs> yeah. This guy right here, if it, if it is really cold, this plugs into my power bank right here mm -hmm. that runs off the bank, and that's a bunk heater. Oh, so it, it's a, a mattress pad heater that wow. I can warm up the bed before we get into it. Sweet. That's get awesome. Into we need one of those. Sheets. I know. Our the bed is the always sheets so are cold. always so cold. Yeah. This is amazing. Plug that system. guy in, and you're, you're good to go. That's so great. And I got man. another plug in back here for the boot heaters. I want the people to realize is like, you don't really need anything crazy. Just milk crates that he has and he stacked everything in and use uh, ratchet, ratchet systems, strap. yeah, ratchet struts to uh, to pull everything together. And it looks super tight. It doesn't seem like anything Very comfy. really yeah. moves around. And, and yeah, it's super comfortable. Oh, that's so much storage. Yeah, and look, it, look it, at these cool little seats nice that he made. Nice and padded. Went then. to the fabric store and had them cut me foam in this size with their fancy heat nice system. Yeah. Right. Said I need six of these and then I gotta I have one Little more guy. of these for the smaller milk crate right. size. That's awesome. The milk crate size. And they're like they're like perfect height to sit on too, which yeah. is cool. Even this area back here, like this is like almost like a little bench seat right here on top of that. Yep. Yeah. yeah like and that's that. and this is the same height as the these are crates. And I've been thinking about doing a, a fold up here to be able to make this a little wider, but it's it's comfortable enough to sit on. And back have here. the table back We've here. We've done uh, games of like Catan or Cards Against Humanity back here. We can fit you know, six people back That's here. Awesome. And yeah. Play games. That's super That's dope. That's a good host. <laughs> <laughs> I do like your storage system back here. Like you could fit a lot of stuff back here. Like look at all these clothes and just all the items, miscellaneous so items, much tools. more tools. All this stuff that he has back here, yeah. like, really utilize the space extremely, extremely well. And, and in really these impressed. crates, like, this one, is, there's two crates full of uh, more tools, DeWalt yeah. set. I could build this van again with what's in here. It'd be slightly easier with my table saw and chop saw, but <laughs> I could do it with what I've got here. How long did it take you to build out? Um, I mean, I've had the van for about two years now. Uh -huh. But it's been, You've been kind of like tinkering. Yeah, adding. slow evolution. I got it to the point like the the kitchen counter there was just a board sitting on two by fours until this trip. Oh, yeah. so I was finally like, okay, 
let's let's get this a little more usable and right. user friendly. Yeah. Um, and get the cabinet started. Next question would be is like, so building the inside of this, like, how much was the inside cost about? I mean, the wood that's in here. I bought a couple sheets of plywood. Yeah. Most of it was stuff that was in my shed, and 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 then the this, um, masonite board. I bought that. You know, this is twelve bucks and two sheets of plywood at like thirty-five bucks a piece for the birch plywood. Mm -hmm. The rest of it was stuff that I just had in my shed. That's awesome. I mean, it Get really seems done. like that it was a fairly inexpensive build in the in the sense of like what you have yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. The the interior wood. I mean, the L track isn't super cheap. So yeah, yeah. There's L track along, um, all the way down the floor on both sides. Uh huh. Um, that's part of what cabinetry is tied into uh -huh. and also when I put a load back here of pallets or hot tub whatever pool table stuff mm -hmm. I can strap it down that's so it's awesome still a pretty good work truck it's a yeah yeah it's still yeah. full-on work truck yeah. like, mm -hmm. it, it'll do when I'm at home I'll do three or four deliveries in a week sometimes um, so you throw the bed up and get it going yeah, throw the bed up take all these shift them up front the red strap that ties these to the wall there ties stuff up to the wall you know, when I'm transporting it. Now, the next thing is, you said you had heat underneath your bed, but what do you do for heat generally? Uh, for heat generally, it's uh, a Wobasto. Sweet. Um, which is under the passenger seat there. Okay. Um, you know, general, same as a lot of the van builds out there. Mm -hmm. Tapped into your tank? Tapped, yep, yeah, tapped into the fuel tank. It's a gas vehicle, runs on unleaded, so does the Wobasto. It's got the, the, the thermostat, which is actually right behind you there. Ooh. That was mounted up on the front of the right by the door but I mean, after waking up three times and going it's freezing in here and i gotta get up and go over there to yeah. turn the heat on <laughs> and i've also it. had um someone sleep on this put the bed up to the top height and now i've got Bunk bed. a guest bed for yeah. a single person yeah. i love the way you use your space once again man it's really Thank really you. awesome how you did it I'm a little jealous about the bed. I sort of wish that I did the retractable, you know, bed where we can lift it up because we would be able to, like, basically have a party underneath. So much more chill. Well. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You know? yep, yep. He has a freaking Stash Dyson. And, and he has a, a Dyson vacuum cleaner in his van. Alex is a little tight I'm about that so one. I'm so jealous. <laughs> I just got a, a 2,000 watt inverter that's built into that electrical system down mm -hmm. there and a power strip. And I've just been running everything off of the power under the closet there. Just from solar? Did we talk about solar already? He doesn't actually have I solar haven't put, I have a 300-watt panel at my house. Uh -huh. I need to order a couple more pieces. Rocks to put it up. Yeah. It's a battery-to-battery -battery charger. I got a battery-to-battery -battery charger, yeah. and then I can also plug into uh, shore power. Uh, shore power. power yeah. I can go four or five days four or five before days. I need to plug in anything. Or run your or car. Or run the, mm -hmm. yeah. How long does it take for you to charge a battery when you're running your car? Uh, when I'm running the van, it's like four hours, four, hours, four to five hours. Yep. And from shore, it's about two hours. All right. The racks are pretty easy. It's three bottle stoppers. And then it's just a quarter 20 bolt going into a plus nut. Plus nuts down here with eye bolts. Pop the board up. He's ready to go snowboarding right yeah. now. You see that? He's going to snowboard right down to the festival. Put it up high, pull it down, and then this just keeps him from banging around. Yeah. Look at all these beautiful places we get to stay. We're living in these vans. It is pretty great. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. It's a, a 2015 Transit. I took up to Portland, Oregon and dropped off to a guy named John at Quadvan. Quadvan.com. He put a F-150 transfer case and front end into it, so it's now a four-wheel drive for transit. Yo, I gotta say, nice job, brother. I'm Alex, and that's Frankie. Together, we live in Lolo, our 2003 Dodge Sprinter. We decided to quit our jobs in New York City and follow our hearts wherever they lead. Right now, we're attempting to hit all 71 mountains on the Epic and Icon Pass. Crazy, I know. Wherever our tiny home on wheels roams, one thing is for certain, we're happy to have you along for the ride. <laughs>